Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Frankenstein's monster. Okay, pencils first and then sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll see a link that you can click on that will take you to the sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. So for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself and get us going. Now, I like to draw the son of Frankenstein. So, it's not gonna be the traditional Frankenstein. It is, I take that back, it is traditional Frankenstein. But, it is the Frankenstein that is wearing uh, like this wool coat is basically what it looks like. So, just giving you a heads up that he's going to be a little, a little more, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, fashionably, fashionably fabulous, basically is what I'm trying to say. So he's going to have a big coat, a big wool coat, but it's easy. It's easy to draw, you know, so we don't have to worry about that. It's pretty simple too. It's 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 going to cut out a lot, and it's not a cheat. It's but it is going to cut out a lot of uh, um, detail because, uh, um, it, like I said, it's just a big a big wool coat is all it is, you know. So that being said. Let's see what I can do here. So for his arms, I think, let's see, let's give him like, like the old Frankenstein arm. Okay, hang on. Uh, we, we, gotta, we gotta do this before anybody corrects me. I know, I get it, he's the monster. He's not Frankenstein. Everybody's used to calling him Frankenstein. We're gonna keep calling him Frankenstein because, okay, maybe I'll say the monster, I don't know. But I'm just trying to say, I know, I get it. I, I, I said the wrong thing. I should have said the monster. And, and I apologize, you're right. Thank you for correcting me. Okay, so let's see. I'm trying to go for like a, just a, you know, monster hand. Just kind of hang in there, really. Something like that. That'll work, that'll work. Um, yeah, that'll work for that. And see, for this arm, we'll stick it out. I mean, I, okay, so also let me correct this. I, I, it's not that I don't like the original Frankenstein or Bride of Frankenstein. I mean, Bride is actually my favorite movie. But, for some strange reason, I don't know why, but this woolly coat uh, Frankenstein from, from Son of Frankenstein has always, always been my favorite. I don't know why. Again, I guess it's just because he's that fashionably, fashionably conscious uh, monster that uh, he, he went to Burlington Coat Factory, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. Okay, this hand's a little big. But hey, you know what? <laughs> you know what we'll play? We'll play that that's okay. That that's, uh, that's uh, um, sewn on from a, from a different person. You know? With the bigger hands. That's what we'll say. <laughs> We're gonna get away with that. So, all right, so let's see what we can do here. And sometimes I draw his head way too big, so I'm trying not to do that this time. I'm trying to make it look more uh, monsterish. But uh, I, I like to draw him like super, super, super tall, like really tall, like he would be going off. Just an exaggeration, just because uh, it's the monster, and I just like the, like I said, the uh, the opportunity to to uh, 
have fun because this is how I draw, remember? That's why you're here. I'm, I'm teaching you how I draw, but I get to do whatever I want to do, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so also he's got like this sunken in jaw. Like, do you, okay, you want to know an interesting little fact? Um, uh, Boris Karloff uh, has, has a false um, uh, bridge of a tooth right there. And so apparently he would take out his tooth and so it would make his jaw sunk in a little bit more. Pretty cool, right? Well, at least that's the story around the campfire, you know? Before anybody corrects me, it's like, that's that's not why. How dare you make fun of his <laughs> his uh, infirmity, you know? But that's, that's what I had always heard. All right. Okay, I think I can live with this. We're gonna draw his little bolt hanging out of his neck. And then we're gonna do his little neck right there. Okay, I am good with that. Let me erase some of these lines because A, I did a lot of them, and B, I want them, I want the Sharpie to stand out, not the pencil lines. So if you're using a pencil, great, awesome. You keep going. You just get darker and darker and darker as you're drawing. My initial sketch was supposed to be just a light sketch, but it came out pretty, pretty dark. So I'm gonna erase a lot of it. Make it nice and faint, make my own ghost. Don't even need a special computer. I can do it with an eraser. That's my special computer. Okay, so I think we're ready. I say we jump over to the Sharpie portion of the video. Let's welcome everybody who skipped to this section. So welcome, skippers. Welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Thank you for skipping to this part. Thank you for watching any part, honestly. I'm going to be using a Sharpie fine point and a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen, just so I can control the line widths much better and I like little, for little details like the face. And so I've already explained to everybody else that I did my sketch and I based it more on the son of Frankenstein. It's got like this big wool coat and you'll see that in a second. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. So I'm going to draw his eyes and I got his head kind of at an angle like this now. So imagine this is his face. I kind of get him tilted like that just a little bit, you know, so it, bear with me. We're going to draw uh, his, his uh, eyebrows or eyelids like this. And that's just to make sure I've got them in the right spot. And they do kind of look kind of heavy. So I'm going to uh, play around with the pupils just a little bit. And I can't do much because uh, um, it bleeds. See how that's always starting to bleed together? I gotta be super careful because, uh, because uh, it's gonna just all bleed together. Okay, so I'm kind of playing around with his, his single brow like that. And, and giving him just a little bit of the, the under eye, just a little bit like that, because like I said, I, I can't go too far with this. Uh, and uh, it, it'll bleed too much. So I'm just trying to uh, pick and choose my battles, you know, trying to decide what I can do and what I can't do. Okay, so we're gonna kind of do something like this to give him a little bit of a nose. That's about as far as I can go without it starting to bleed into itself. So we'll just kind of do that. Give him some, some frank lines. And then uh, let's, let's draw him a mouth. Okay, like that. And I'll, I'll give him like a little bit of a, like a um, crack, crackly lined uh, dead mouth is basically what we're going to go for because he is in in so many words made from a dead person you know and there's his little little in, indented jaw or indented uh um cheek all right so let's draw his chin it's kind of a big wide chin because he's a big uh, behemoth of a man and i'm going to kind of play around with just some like i said just some accent lines just to just to, uh, again, accent. I, it's a good word. I don't know why I was trying to think of a better one. To accent uh, his, his features, okay? So, 
going to do this and I'm starting to thicken up my lines. Have you noticed that like on the edges? Because uh, I'm going to switch over to this big Sharpie in a second and it's a lot thicker. So I'm just kind of getting ready for what's about to happen is what I'm doing. So I'm going to draw his forehead up and I'm going to start to draw. Let's see. I'm going to put like a, a pin in his head there. I'm going to put a pin in his head there. And then the big, the big fatty, I'll do like that. And that'll uh, give us um, those places. You know, the, the, the sutures in his head. Uh, that's, that's what I was trying to think of. Okay, and so that's about all I'm going to do with his hairlines because uh, color is going to take care of the rest. But I wanted to at least just draw in some of that. And I'm, I, I, what's funny is I say that, and then I continue to draw. I do that every time. It's like, that's all I'm going to do as I do more. So uh, I'll just do some of these. And... But again, that's kind of the luxury of this tiny Sharpie. You know, the other one can't can't in any way do that. So, uh, and he's got a scar. Let's we'll kind of come down like that, and um, I'll just draw the edge of his hair. And I guess I could do that with the big Sharpie. I think I'm done with the uh, tiny Sharpie. So let me do this last part, and let's see. His jawline's going to come in here and connect. And again, I'm going to start to thicken it up a little bit draw his little uh, bolt on the side of his neck okay and that might be all I gotta do I think I can do the rest with Sharpie with Sharpie with the bigger Sharpie I've been working with Sharpie right uh, yeah so like the back of his head all that stuff I'll do the other one let's jump to this all right so now I'm gonna just gonna basically come in here and start and see how thick this is Woo, doggy that's what I meant by, uh, you know, I, I wanted to try to match it because, man, this got thicker. All right, so let me draw his actual um, collar like that. And so now, bear with me. I got the sketch. I know where I'm going with this. I'm just going to kind of draw like something like this. And that's his... his uh, his like I don't know if it's lamb I don't know if it's sheep but it's like his wool uh, um, uh, shirt jacket what would you call this I don't know but I've always loved this and so that's why I'm just kind of playing around with it now and look how we can get away with drawing so little I hate to say that I know you're here to draw stuff but we can get away with with uh, with just uh, kind of giving him his own like look and style, you know? So um, maybe that's why I've loved it so much. And again, I'm just kind of playing around with that. It, it's like the shaggy, uh, the fur, I don't know what it is, but it's very, very uh, uh, animal skin, you know? Like I said, it's either, um, it's either sheep skin or some other kind of wool, you know? And that's all, so we can just kind of play around with that is what we're gonna do, okay? So, since we got that done, before I go any further with it, let's go ahead and draw his arms. We're over here, so might as well just kind of do something like that. And I'm playing around with, you know, he's got a, um, a, a old beat up, ripped up shirt, you know, he's he's been through a lot by, this is what, movie three? He's been through a lot by this one. So, you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna tear up his shirt a little bit, you know? We're gonna make it nice and grungy. All right, so let's draw this big old hand here. And remember, it's a hand of a different monster. That's why <laughs> that's why we're getting away with, with uh, making it a little bit bigger. You know, shh, that'd be our, our, our trick or treat secret. Okay, so I'm gonna draw his hand like this. We're gonna do that. And, ooh, let's do this, let's do this. Just kinda have some fun with like a sew line where it was sewn together. Heck yes, look at that, that's fun. 
All right, so I'm gonna draw his thumb over here, inside of his hand, and his finger. And I'm gonna draw some, some stress lines in here in a second because like I said, it's Frankenstein. It's the monster, sorry. <laughs> so uh, I can uh, have a little bit more fun with, with uh, what do you call it? Um, beat up old monster lines, you know? Stuff like this. Oops. Okay, I got a little too crazy there on that pinky, didn't I? All right, so there we go. So again, super big hand, but that's because it was from a big man. So let's work over here. So this arm is kind of up a little bit, so I'm just gonna kind of do one of these, a little, little bit of creases and folds because it's more uh, bent towards you. And I'm just gonna go in here like this. I'll draw some more in a second. I just wanna wrangle in that hand. So I'm gonna draw, let's see, one finger like this. And I'm gonna draw some knuckles and stuff like that in a second. I just wanted to kind of give you an idea where we are, like that, okay? So I'm drawing the outlines basically first. So the next finger is gonna come down like this. And then the last one, not last one, I'm sorry. Next one's like this. I'm gonna draw the pinky just kind of hanging down like that. Oops, shouldn't have been quite like that. Draw the thumb in here like this. And the hand like that. So does that make sense now? You see how the, the shirt's kind of all uh, over it like that? We'll draw this hand in there like this. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw a bunch of, of uh, crease lines and whatnot because it's more you know, like a uh, uh, wrap towards you. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, like that. Okay, so I'll just draw some stress lines for his knuckles. Monster, monster stress. And draw the fingernails that'll help you decide where all this stuff is. All right, awesome. Okay, almost there. So now we're just gonna keep playing around with that uh, uh, that wool, lambskin, sheepskin coat, whatever this is. Again, just kind of playing around with some uh, uh, detail, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Just that because we can, you know, just a little, little scraggly looking coat is what it is. Don't judge him, he just found that. Okay, so now we're gonna draw his legs. Draw this one out like that. And his pants are pretty much just over his boots. Okay. Again, he found it. Don't don't make fun of him, you know? And the old, I, that's one thing, I guess they went for it for height, but the whole big, big uh, gigantic boot Big old kiss shoes, you know, they're super tall. I'm just gonna do something like that. And just kind of, again, just kind of, I'm beating them up a little bit is what I'm doing, you know? I'll do more with uh, with color, but I was just kind of playing around with, you know, he's, he's been through a lot. Again, he's, uh, this is movie three. You know, he's, he's died and come back to life several times. Or two times, I guess, if it's movie three, right? Okay, so now I'm just going to bring these other ones in. Again, just drawing some scraggly old pants. Like this. I'm just going to beat them up just a little bit. Just because, like I said, movie three resurrection to uh he needs a new pair of pants it's it's time these pants have gone too far for too many movies and it's time for some new ones frankie or monster all right 
Okay, and that's it. Just playing around with, you know, just some, some old beat up lines, you know? So let's just finish up his big old tall shoe. Something like that. And again, we'll beat this one up too. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, so there you go. Let's take care of the rest with color. So that is the monster from Frankenstein. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.